Greetings, Father Campo here. I have a little last minute impromptu video for some things that I was asked somewhat last minute to do this weekend. First of all, we will have our, our usual first Saturday Mass, 8 a.m. on Saturday, August 1st. Uh, but in addition to that, at our, our normal 4 p.m. anticipated Mass, uh, we will have the proper readings and prayers for the Sunday in ordinary time, but we will be celebrating at the same time with Mater Fatima. It's an organization uh, promoting the first Saturday devotion and the, the promises and the requests of Our Lady of Fatima as a means of responding uh, to the times that we're living in. Actually, I want to take a moment there to just encourage us uh, because uh, the call is to use our faith. We're not helpless that we just have to passively watch these times go by and, and say, I hope, I hope they get better. We pray, we pray, and we put that prayer into practice as Christians. And so, putting it into practice on Saturday at 3 p.m., before the 4 p.m. Mass, I will expose the Blessed Sacrament and uh, pray the Rosary, which will be streamed online throughout the world at the same time. Now, we are still restricted for allowing people into the church only 30 minutes before Mass, and I want to respect that guideline. So what I will do is uh, I will play the audio on the bell towers. So you'll be able to hear it outside if you get there in your car early, or you'll be able to see it streaming online. Then if you get there the normal time for Mass, uh, you probably get the tail end of the rosary, and you'll be there for benediction. Then following benediction, we'll have 4 p.m., uh, mass for uh, the Sunday in Ordinary Time, but we will, during the homily, uh, talk about Our Lady of Fatima and responding in our faith, using our faith. And what's more, we'll be joined virtually with Christians throughout the world. See, we need this. God is using all things for the good. And while we are experiencing struggle and strife and lockdowns and quarantines and mass, God increases our faith, and this is one opportunity for us to do that. Now on Sunday, uh, the mission for the love of God, likewise another group asking because they wanted an English mass that they could stream online, uh, they are asking for the mass for consecration. Uh, we, we consecrated ourselves in this parish to Jesus through Mary, to the Sacred Heart, and to the Immaculate Heart. Uh, we also did, in an impromptu way, a consecration to St. Joseph, something we didn't, I didn't get the opportunity to prepare you for consecration to God the Father, but I'm going to put a consecration prayer that they asked in the Mass on Sunday for those members of the mission in the English-speaking world who have done the preparation and are ready to do that. Nonetheless, we can benefit from that spiritual work that many of the people are doing. God, God's not shy. He throws that grace out to all who want it. So if you want to make some kind of move to God the Father, I'm sure he will accept your prayer. Just realize that making a consecration to God in any form, it's a, it's a serious matter. But it is a blessing, and so that will also happen on Sunday, and the Mass will be streaming for everyone to watch, not just people in the mission. Just wanted to cue you into a few things like that that would be happening this weekend. So until, until then, God bless and keep you all, and uh, let's stay together and keep each other in prayer.